Hello guys, so today we're gonna do some sketchbook study analysis. So let's go! Alright, so before doing anything, I plan and analyze all of my references of the subject I want to study, and I create ortho views once and twice in a better form and the side view. In my case, I use a tarantula hawk in this exercise and I gathered a bunch of 3D models from sketchfab.com. So I start analyzing my reference by creating a thumbnail on my sketchbook and thinking about the things I'm just gonna mention. So I first think of the perspective axis, which is gonna be the x-axis going like this, the y-axis, and then there is the z-axis. In one form, it's gonna be like this, but in the overall form and gesture motion, it is actually gonna be curved. So the z-axis is actually curved, because this is the kind of gesture we are gonna see in this book. We're also not seeing a specific motion on the legs, which is also curved, and it's connecting all of their bending points. And we're also amplifying this in here, on our thumbnail. Then after I thought all that, I actually had to create the, this thumbnail you're seeing over here, so I made an order of actions to follow. I drew the axis, as you can see here. I created the Z motion line. Then I marked where each 2D shape is about to end. I estimated that. And then after I did that, I actually got to draw the 2D shapes, just 2D flat shapes. And then after that, I added some small contours. I left it to be messy. I didn't really care, I just wanted to capture the overall shape and nothing really much. Then, keeping in mind the gesture of the legs, I firstly marked the line of the gesture of the legs, and then I drew the bending points of the legs only. And then I was ready to actually proceed to the final drawing. Since this is a foreshortened angle, the hardest thing for me was to make the head bigger and the abdomen relatively smaller than what it ori originally was, but also keeping it relatively still smaller than the thorax because the thorax is bigger. I create the motion line and mark the proportions. Then I add the 2D shapes and the details in the 2D shapes. Then I ink and refine the 3D shapes of the main body. I mark the bending points of the legs with a marker. And I ink and refine all 3D shapes of the entire body 